Hi, welcome back to the Moose Shop. I just got done making this little metal box, which I think is a great project for a beginning welder, which I am. So it was a lot of fun doing. Um, I think it's a lot, it's kind of cool because it takes a, just a bolt and a few nuts to make the hinge and the latch, which you have laying around the shop. And that turned out pretty cool. And the, the loop here for the lock is just a bent nail. So it's a fun project. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of ugly welds because I'm a beginner, like I said, so, but I'm, I'm practicing, trying to get better, um, and then there's going to be a lot of grinding. So stick around, we'll get the welder out, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I cut all the parts out except for the top itself, um, and I chamfered and, and uh, deburred all the edges. So, if you had some of these magnets laying around or to, you know buy some, these are really handy when it comes to making a, something like this little project because it'll hold it for you so that you can tack it off. Um, so what we're going to do is going to put everything on the inside. That way, there when I do cut the top out of this material it will fit and cover it and I can't emphasize enough how handy these magnets are so if you're thinking about welding a lot get a couple of these magnets So we got everything tacked up. Now it's time to... So that actually gives you some little practice on tacking things. And now what we'll do is we'll, we'll complete the beads all the way around it. And give you practice on running some beads. And it's... You know, you try to do as best you can, but you're going to be grinding most of this anyways. Or all of it. So you'll be practicing grinding too. A lot of it. It happens, a little ball at the end, it happens. Alright, so now we're gonna I'm gonna grind off all these welds nice and smooth before I concentrate on the top. And <laughs> they need to be grinded off. Anyways, the way I like to do it is I use these mag switches that I, this is the jig that I used for the table saw. Um, but I get them clamp it to the edge of my table and then put it on there with switches and I've never lost anything off of here. This this really holds it down. So I can sit here and don't worry about it going anywhere and it's like it's on there.
right, so it's time to make the hinge for the box. And all you need for this is is a one bolt and four nuts. And what we're going to do is for it to open freely, you need to knock down at least three of these high points on the nut. And that way there the, it will open up freely. So we're going to tack the outside bolts to the back of the box and the inside bolts to the lid. And that way there it will hinge in on that bolt. Um, as long as we keep it nice and straight, it should work. Okay, so that works pretty good. So now what I want to do is let's make a locking latch for it. So we'll do the same thing as we did for the hinge, but we'll do a little scrap piece here for the flap. And Well, the old metal box came together after, <laughs> despite all those uh, ugly welds I had going on. But that's okay. I'm here to practice and get better. And also, uh, my grinding is improving also <laughs> along the way. <laughs> so, for you beginners, go ahead, give this a shot. Especially the, the doing the hinges and the latch is kind of fun. And uh, you'll be able to do some vertical welds and some horizontal welds and some spot welds and... Yeah, the more you do, the better you're going to get. For you veterans, throw some uh, comments down below and throw some tips out there for us so, so we'll learn how to do it. So, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. 
and I'll see you soon.